Hello, people. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hey, what's up? How is everything, guys? How is everything? Is, everything is good. Everything is good. Okay. So we can gotta thank God. I mean, that's great. That's great. How about the weather in there? It's not that difficult in there. Is it not raining? Hasn't it been raining? Is it? It's starting to rain right now. Yeah, really? Like it's even uh, yeah, here. Just a little bit. Uh huh. It's, same here. It's just like drizzling, but apparently, uh, by tomorrow, yeah. by tomorrow, yeah, man, it's gonna be a little bit hotter, like the rains and everything. Because in here, by the area where I live, I mean, the classes are suspended. I think in the the whole country are suspended, but mostly for the Costera area, mm -hmm. uh, most of it are, are suspended, right? Due to uh, that uh, kind of tropical storm, I think it is, that is getting close, approaching to El Salvador. So let's see what's up in the in the you know, like future hours, right? So guys, how was your weekend? Was it good, guys? Could you rest for the ones who don't work on weekends? My weekend relax. <laughs> was it relaxed? You? Uh, yes. Kind of, kind of relaxed. <laughs> Because I had a lot of things to do here. I'm just like doing a general cleaning in my house. And I'm taking out things that, that I didn't know I had. For real. And I was like, for real did I have this in my house? And I was like, ah, okay. Yeah, man. It's like, ah. it's a little bit hard. Especially today. I mean, I didn't go to work because the classes are suspended in, in the place where uh, I work so, but in here you can imagine, right? Uh, the mess I got in the house, just cleaning, putting things from one place to another. Ah, uh, it's complicated. And at the end of the day, you realize that it, it looks like you haven't done anything because you got everything disorganized, <laughs> but you end up super tired, and you're like, ah, oh, Jesus. Tomorrow I had to continue on this. And then I regret, I'm a, like, why did I start cleaning like today? I mean, why didn't do I did this before? And I was like, eh. anyway, got to do it now. <laughs> I think it's going to take me like three days because I'm doing it by myself. So eh, it's going to be a hard day. But anyways, you know, I got to do it. <laughs> okay, guys, I hope everybody have had a good weekend. So... Yeah. Tonight, we are going to continue, you know, like with uh, the series of topics that we started the last week. So we are going to continue talking a little bit about uh, countable and uncountable nouns tonight. So we're going to do a kind of practice that we got in the manual there, you know, just, just to keep on going with this topic and have a clearer idea about how to use you know, like the questions uh, and the possible answers that you might provide, right? So, guys, I know that you mm, remember that the topic that we were discussing in the last class was countable and uncountable nouns, right? Especially using how much and how many. But what else besides that, guys, do you remember? Let's uh, start with that. Then I'm going to pass the attendance list, and then we're going to focus on the manual, okay? So what do you guys remember from the previous class? Well, you tell me, I'm going to check on the messages in here, and it says teaching maintenance and a second list is bad. Okay, Guillermo, I will take that into account. Hopefully, I don't have issues with my signal again. Ah, I hope so. Okay. So, what do you guys remember from the previous class? Let's start with that. And try to turn on your cameras, people. 
I remember what you said before. Uh -huh. We were discussing about countable and uncountable nouns. Uh, okay, mm. very good. If you guys remember, besides that, right, Robert, we were discussing some quantifiers that we can use with countable nouns and quantifiers that we can use with uncountable nouns because there are different uh, quantifiers that we can use, right? Separate them uh, in, yeah. a, in a classification. All right. So I'm going to choose in, mm, 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 some other people just an idea what they remember. And I'm going to choose Dennis. Dennis, do you remember any of the quantifiers we were discussing in the previous class? Dennis? Yeah. <laughs> Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, Dennis. What do you remember from the previous class? Can you hear me? Um, Especially the quantifiers, Dennis. Do you remember them? Ah, come on, Dennis. I don't, I don't get so you. Many. Okay, so how much? How many? Right. Those ones were mostly for questions, right, Roberto? Okay, but besides how much and how many, what else do you remember? ¿Qué más recordamos, people? Yeah, the quantifiers, uh, a few, a lot. Ah, uh, okay. I think that that those were. Mm -hmm. There are many that you can use both in two cases, but in, uh, some of those, some of those you you just can use with uh, um, non-countable, and some of those just for uncountable non. Ah, okay, very good, Robert. Thank you. Okay, guys, if you remember, so we were discussing a couple of quantifiers, right? The main one that indicates a huge amount, it's a lot of. A lot of. If you remember, it's to talk about a big quantity on something, okay? With countable nouns means muchos or muchas. With uncountable nouns, it's just mucho or mucha, right? Depending on what you're talking about, right? It's just for example, if I got, I have a lot, listen up, I have a lot of students in this class. I'm mentioning that I have a big quantity of students here. So can I count the students? Yes, right? I can count the students. In another way, so I can say, I put a lot of sugar in my coffee. I put a lot of sugar in my coffee. So in here, a lot doesn't mean muchos or muchas, right? So it means mucha, just simple like that, right? Just to make reference that I use a lot of sugar, right? A big quantity of sugar in my coffee, right? So this is like what we are going to be clarifying uh tonight and we are going to do some practice uh, activities including a couple of questions that we got in the manual give me one second guys this is sonia teacher aquí está lloviendo y tengo mala señal okay sonia thank you to report all right that all right guys but before starting with that as i said i am going to start with the attendance list i think most of you are here so we can start with that. Mm, Alfredo Enrique. Present teacher. Okay, great. Ana Maria. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Brenda Angelica. Uh, present, okay, Brenda, thank you. Karen Beatriz.
Is that on here? Karen, present. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you, Karen. Uh, Selina Janet. Selina, looks like she's sleeping or it's my imagination. <laughs> All right, Selina. Got you there. Uh, Clara Marina. Present teacher. Okay, great. Cristian Eduardo. Present. All right, perfect. David Alberto. Present. Okay, excellent. David Armando. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Denis Gerardo. Denise, are you there? Present. Ah, okay. Present, teacher. Okay, okay. Thank you, Denise. Diego Rodolfo. Present, teacher. Okay, great. Erika Michel. Erika, is Erika here? Ah, okay, great. There you go. I saw you. All right. Fatima Laura. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Gabriela Margarita. Present. Okay, perfect. Griselda Jamilet. Here. Okay, great. Guillermo Josué. I am an is there, but as a listener, Jaime Vladimir. Present. Okay, great. Jenny Marisol. Present. Okay, perfect. Jose Roberto. Presente. Okay, great. Jocelyn Abigail. Present. Okay, great. Rafael Ernesto. Presente. Okay, very good. Roberto Antonio. Present. All right, perfect. Sonia Guadalupe. Present. Okay, good. Walter Manuel. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Janira Isabel. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. And the last one, Yuri Magdalena. Present. All right. All right, Isabel. Thank you. And Yuri. Are you there, Yuri? Present. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Ah, oh, Jesus, I got everybody here today. That is more than excellent. Okay, guys. So let's keep on going in here with this. I'm going to show you just a little bit, a short presentation that I got in here just to, you know, like have a brief uh, memory about what we were doing the last class. It's just a couple of additional examples related to what we were just discussing, right? And then we are going to focus on a series of activities that we got in the manual. So just give me one second. I'm going to show you this. Give me one second, guys. Okay, great. Can you guys confirm that you can see my presentation? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. So yes, as teacher. I said, all right, perfect. So as I said, we're gonna focus tonight on countable or count nouns mm -hmm. and uncountable or non-count nouns, okay? So as you guys know, what are countable nouns? 
countable nouns are nouns, right? That we can literally count, right? All right. Like, what kind of nouns can we count, guys? Can you give me an example of words that we can count? We can count books. Okay. You can count glasses. You can count pens, pencils. Uh, you can count bottles. You can count uh, maybe keys that you use when you want to open your door of your house. Um, chairs, things that you can see easily that you can take with your hand. Things okay. like that. Perfect. Thank you, Robert. Yeah. So basically, those ones are uh, the kind of nouns, right, uh, that we can count. And as he said, the, the definition might be a little bit redundant, but it says countable nouns or count nouns are words or nouns that we can, you know, like count, right? So we got a series of examples in here. So some short examples. Check this out. As he says, I have one apple right so that's like countable right so as we got it in there so if you guys don't want to be as specific on the number right of uh objects that you can have or nouns that you can have you can use quantifiers like in this example you see uh christian can you help me out reading this example There are a lot of apples. Okay, great. As you see, there are a lot of apples. So in here, what am I saying? Ah, hay muchas manzanas, right? So in there, a lot is just given a big quantity about something that I can count, right? Good. So we got another example over here. Fatima Laura, can you help me out reading this example? You need many co-workers to finish the job. Okay, excellent. Thank you. As it says, you see, you need many. What is many in this context, guys? What do you understand by many in this context? Algunos? Mm, no, muchos. Muchos in this case. Muchos. Yeah. What is the difference between a lot and many, right? A lot is like a huge quantity, right? Like if you got from a zero to a hundred percent, a lot is like a hundred percent. Many is like a 75% in, in, in quantity, okay? So that's like the difference between a lot and many, okay? But is it still though, like muchos, right? or muchas, depending on what you want to say. All right, and what happened when we are talking about something that indicates like zero, that like you don't have, but is it still countable though? Dennis, mm -hmm. help me out reading this example. Mm -hmm. Dennis? No, okay. No carga teacher. Second. Uh the example number the last three. one. The last one, yeah. Okay. There aren't any students with the cameras off. <laughs> okay. I wish it could be like that. All right, as this is. Thank you, Dennis, by the way. There aren't. So we got there are not, right? Are not any students if you guys remember from the previous uh, class i told you that any is a negative word why is it considered a negative word because any is only only used in negative sentences and in questions don't use any in positive sentences because it's not correct Remember, any in this context means ninguno o ninguna, right? O ningunos o ningunas. 
So depending on the noun that you got after any, right? So any is also used with uncountable nouns, right? So in there is translated as ningun or ninguna, right? On, depending on, on what you have as the noun there that you're talking about. But in here, remember, any means ningun, right? And it's only in negative sentences. Okay, let's move here. Now, this is just related to countable nouns, as I told you, right? Now, let's talk a little bit about uncountable nouns. As I told you guys, it's just nouns that we cannot count, right? For example, check this out. Like the word noise. What is noise? What is noise, guys? Ruido. Ruido, right? So the word noise in English is uncountable. So we cannot say like one noise, two noises, or three noises, right? There are people here in Spanish that says, right, ah, algunos ruidos, but in English, the word noise is uncountable, okay? And you cannot count this, this, this noun, right, in a sentence. So as you guys can see, I got this example. Alfredo, help me out reading it, please. Leer la, la oración. Yes. There is a lot of noise in the city. Okay, very good. There is a lot of noise in the city. You see, what am I saying in here? I mean, hay mucho ruido, right? En la ciudad. So in here, right, I'm talking about something in general that indicates something singular that we cannot count. Okay, so check this out. We got another one here. Uh, David Alberto, help me a reading, please. Okay. There is a little su sugar for the coffee. Okay, very good. As he says, right? There is a little sugar for the coffee. Hay un poquito, right? Poco. Poco azúcar, right? Para el café. All right, so in this context, little means a very, very small quantity on something, right? So that's what little means in this case. Remember, little, it's only, listen up, it's only used with uncountable nouns. Nunca coloquen a little con algo que podemos contar. Solamente va con nombres que no podemos contar. A little. All right, so let's move. Okay, so we got this one. Uh, let me see. Who hasn't participated? This people is not here. Okay. Diego, let's read this one. Okay. Um... There isn't any milk in the fridge. Okay, very good. As you guys see, you got any milk. So in here, any is working with an uncountable noun. So what's the uncountable noun here? The word milk, right? So we cannot count the milk. So in here is just like, ah, uh, there isn't any milk in the fridge. Ah, uh, no, I legge, right? In el Refri. So in here, any is serving as something negative for an uncountable noun. So as you guys see, we can use any for both countable and uncountable nouns, right? And it goes again in a negative sentence. Remember, right? Good. Until here, guys, I don't know if you have any doubt related to this. Something that is not like a hundred percent clear for you. Is everything okay? 
or do you have any question with this? Remember, if you have questions, you can ask. Okay, great. Your silence makes me think that everything is getting okay. Okay, let's move. All right, as in questions. Uh, the last time we were just discussing this couple of questions using is there, are there. If you guys remember, is there, it's mostly with singular nouns, countable and uncountables. And are there is just for countable nouns that are plurals. Remember that, right? Are there, it's only for countable nouns that are plurals. Is there is for countable and uncountable nouns, right? Just keep that on, on, on mind. So let's take a look at this question examples. Walter, help me out reading this question, please. Are there any students in the class? Okay, thank you. Are there any students in the class, right? So in here, guys, any doesn't mean ninguno, right? It says, hay algunos estudiantes en la clase, right? So if the answer in here is positive, you can say like this. Check this out. Yes, there are a lot. Like in this case, right? Like in this class, I can say, ah, oh, yes, there are a lot. Why? Because there are more than 20 students in here, like tonight. Right, so we can say like that. But what happens if we don't have many students in the class? Oh, I got zero students in the class. So I can say like this, I see as in a negative answer. No, there aren't any, right? Ah, no, no hay ninguno, right? So if I got a zero percent of students in here, right? So we got two ways of answering this question. All right, so taking this question as plural, okay? Why are we, um, you know, like deducting that this question is plural? Because you got are there and the word students, right? That indicates that the question and the answer has to be plural. So take a look at this one. Jocelyn, let's read it. Is there much pollution in the city? Okay, thank you. Is there much pollution in the city? Right, so in here, guys, the question, it's a little bit different, right? Why? Because the word pollution is uncountable. What is pollution, guys? Pollution. Contamination. Exactly. Pollution is a synonym of contamination right? That's what pollution is. It's a synonym of contamination. So the possible answers that you can have for this question. Yes, there is a lot. Uh, see, hay mucha, right? Referring to the pollution, right? And then you can have, uh, if you got a negative answer, so you can use it this uh, all the way. No, there's none, right? No, there's none. No, no hay ninguna, right? So we can use this way also. Solo tomen en cuenta que cuando usen non, ya no van a colocar la palabra not, porque entonces la respuesta sería incorrecta, okay? So just keep that on mind. If you use the word non, don't use not. Porque entonces no sería correcto. Okay? That's just another way to say uh, no. Non es como decir not. All right? So that's one. All right? So just keep that on mind, guys. All right, so we got these ways of answer to questions like this, right? All right. Great. I don't know, guys, if you're taking notes on that. 
¿Están tomando nota? ¿Terminaron? Entonces dice a couple of you. All right. Once you finish, let me know so I can continue with the manual. Uh, Mr. Robert, I, 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 I think the same like you. I, I heard some, I heard like she's lagging. I think you are lagging, Mr. Uh, teacher. Like the last five minutes, you are like that. Like lagging? You are lagging. Really? Guys? Due to the rain, maybe. All right. My internet. All right, guys. What I'm going to do is just to turn the camera off because, yeah, I mean, I have had issues with the internet again. I think it's because of the situation. <laughs> the weather here is like not that good. But please, guys, if you hear that I'm lagging, that if I am just like cutting off my voice, please let me know, okay? Just let me know on that. I don't know, guys, if you're uh, listening to me like clearly. Me están escuchando bien por ahora. Por ratitos se le escucha bien y por ratitos no. No, okay. Por favor, me lo hacen saber uh, siempre que me esté cortando, please, right? I'm gonna try to move on on here. But like right now, guys, just like for you to work, uh, we're going, I'm gonna sign you something. Give me one second. Okay, can you hear this? Can you uh, see the screen? Okay, great. What are we going to do? Yes, I can. Okay, perfect. Perfect. What are we going to do here, guys? Listen, I am going to send you to work in a breakout room, right? And what do I want in this activity? Listen. Les voy a mandar a trabajar en grupos de tres. Okay, that's activity. And what are you guys going to do? You are going to interview your classmates. Let's imagine Robert is working with Christian and another person. So Robert, who lives in a different neighborhood as Christian, all right? So Robert will answer these questions from Christian. So probably Christian is going to start like, hey, Robert, are there many apartment buildings in your neighborhood? So Robert will say, yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are some, depending if there are, right? Or if there are any, so Robert will say, no, there aren't any. Or no, there isn't any. Okay, the idea here, guys, is you to practice these questions with the possible answers that we got and we have been discussing previously and here. So, and here I'm talking about, give me one second. That's ones. These are like the possible answers, guys, that you can give, okay? When it comes to are there and is there question, okay? In questions, like for example, the second one, how much traffic is there? So remember, it comes to questions and answers like this, like the ones that we were practicing on Friday. And remember, in questions with how many, okay, you have to set a specific numbers, right? Like for example, how many swimming pools are there in your neighborhood? So you can say, ah, uh, there is one pool in my neighborhood. There isn't 
any pool in my neighborhood or if there are three like ah there are three pools in my neighborhood okay this is like what we guys are going to be practicing i am just going to jump into the breakout rooms just like listening to your practice okay any question guys before going to work alguna pregunta antes de trabajar en esto No? Okay, great. This is the activity that we are going to be just working on, okay? So I am going to stop sharing here. And let's go to work. Oh, for real, I hate when that happens. But just give me one second, guys. I'm just going to send you to the breakout rooms because I don't want to have any other issue here. Give me one second. How many people are we? 26. All right, guys. Give me one second. I need to reformulate this. Okay. Let's open up the breakout rooms, guys, and let's go to work in the activity I told you. Please. Let's go. Demole aceptar, por favor. And let's go to work on that activity. Uh, Clara, are you there, Clara? Mm, Clara, Jocelyn, Griselda, can you hear me? Hi, Jenny. So you're connected from another uh, source? Jenny, me escucha? Okay, Jenny. Uh, la voy a mandar a trabajar en la sala donde se supone estaría. Okay. Solo démosle aceptar, Jenny, por favor. Tal vez lo tiene a la mano. The teacher is here. Hey, Maybe. yes, I'm here. Can I yeah, help? Can we help? Yeah, we help. Hi guys. Hello guys. Yeah, I'm here. Tell me. Teacher, no notamos la pregunta. Oh, okay. Voy a compartir de nuevo entonces la pantalla. Las, le pueden tomar la captura. Okay. Okay. All right. Great. That's on. Here you go. This one. Ahí lo tienen. Eh, 
Eh, y la, lo que tenemos que hacer es como preguntar al compañero, ¿verdad? Correcto, sobre si hay estas cosas en su vecindario. Por ejemplo, usted le puede preguntar a, uh, like, who are you with? No me aparecen acá, where are you in? For example, are there many apartment buildings in your neighborhood? Y dependiendo si tiene o no, puede decir, ah, yes, there are, ok, o no, there isn't any, for example, o no, there aren't any, right? The idea is just to give an answer, ok? Hello? Ok. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to stop sharing. All right, so you can start. All right, podemos comenzar entonces. Tenemos acá a Diego, Alfredo, Yuri, okay, and David Alberto. So you can uh, do this interview once. For example, Alfredo can start with uh, Judy. So Judy can uh, ask this kind of activity to David and then David to Diego and then Diego finish up with uh, Alfredo, like a circle, guys. Okay. Okay. Yo le pregunto a Judy. Exactly. Una vez haya terminado, Yuri puede comenzar okay. con David. Uh, Yuri, are there many apartment buildings? Yuri, you there? No. No, no se le entendió, teacher. Se le vio cortado. ¿A mí o a Alfredo? A usted, a usted se le escucha cortado. Ah, señor. Ok. Eh, pero me entendió la actividad. Eh, for example, um, na, 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 na. Alfredo, ¿me entendió cómo le dije? Sí, sí. Ok, good. So, usted pregúntele a Yuri, luego Yuri a David, luego David a Diego, y Diego termina con usted, Alfredo. Right? The idea is to practice this, this, these questions, okay? Sí, sí, sí. Perfect. sí. Perfect. Let's go. Okay. Sí. Sí. Estamos bien, ¿verdad? ¿Quién está opinando? ¿Brenda o, o, o Karen? Brenda. Ah, ok, Brenda. ¿Karen estará bien así? Yes. Ok. Pues yo no sé si entendemos bien, pero yo así le... le doy un poco Ahí nos van a este. corregir. Ahí nos van a corregir. Bueno, sigamos con la siguiente. Con, con dos F. Ajá, ah, sí. Traffic lleva dos F. ¿Traffic? Doble F. Dos F. Ok. Creo que estará el teacher acá, ¿no? Yes, I am here. here. ¿Hemos comprendido, el teacher, el, el ejemplo? Ok, listen. The idea here, la idea es, no es más, no es más mucho el hecho de eh, rellenar así. Ok, la idea es, por ejemplo, uh -huh. usted vive en un, bar, un, en un vecindario diferente al de Karen, Karen diferente al de Roberto, Roberto uh -huh. diferente al de Brenda, ¿correcto? Sí. Yes. Correcto. Ok, great. The idea, Rafa, so you can start asking Karen, por ejemplo, hey Karen, are there many apartment buildings in your neighborhood? So Karen, si tiene... Edificios de apartamentos en su vecindario le puede decir, ah, yes, there are uh, ten, ¿ok? Y si no hay ninguno, le puede decir, no, there aren't any. There aren't. There aren't any, y ahí, ¿ok? 
usted le hace las ocho preguntas a Karen, luego Karen le hace esas preguntas a Roberto, obtiene las respuestas de Roberto, luego Roberto a Brenda, y Brenda termina con haciéndole la, las preguntas a usted, ¿ok? Así, en secuencia. La idea aquí es practicar, ¿ok? It's just practice. Ah, ok. ¿Got it? Sí, no está... Entrecortado, no le habíamos entendido. Ajá. Ah, bueno, entonces, entonces pues, nos, nos preguntamos, ¿verdad? Y cada quien va respondiendo según dónde vive, ¿verdad? Ok. Bueno, entonces, eh, ¿quién inicia? Iniciamos. Roberto y yo. Parece. Démosle. Are there Demole. many apartments, buildings? No. There are any. Porque no hay ninguno. Ok. How much traffic is there? Permítame. Mm. No. Ok. No. Sería no. No. Uh, there isn't. Porque es incontable. Uh -huh. uh, how many dance clubs are there? ¿Cuántas discotecas hay? Ninguna. Aquí no hay nada de eso. Ah, entonces, entonces la respuesta sería, ¿verdad? No, there, there are any. No, no. 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 No, no. no there aren't any. There. No, there are no. No, there aren't any. No, no hay ninguno. Hay many. Huh? Porque aren't any es como no, no hay ninguno. Sí. Algo así creo que es esa. There aren't any. Aren't any. Aren't any. Teacher. Hola, dígame. Eh, ¿Verdad que solo íbamos a contestar conforme a, la, a, lo, a los ejemplos que están ahí de yes, there is a lot o no, there is an a, there is an a many Es correcto, yeah, that's the way. Uh -huh. Ok, gracias. All right, all right. Number six. Is there much pollution? Pollution? Yes. <laughs> yes, there is a lot. A lot or oh, a lot. A lot. A lot. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. There is a lot. There is a lot. <laughs> All right, guys, ¿cómo vamos? Everything okay? Nosotros decimos que ya terminamos. <laughs> okay, all right. ¿Verdad, Sonia? Hola. Ya terminamos, ¿verdad? Solo son seis, ¿verdad? All right, ¿Sí? guys. All right. Very good. So I'm going to check on uh, the other group. Solo esperando a ver si están. All right. A mí me salen ocho. ¿Cuántas te salen? Ocho. Son ocho. Ah, sí, ocho. Ya se está llenando.